Hey everyone, Irit here. I hope you're enjoying the December daily videos and also I'll remind you to check out Barbara's channel 49 Dragonflies for more December daily videos. Now a few of you asked me how I bound my junk journal that I'm using this year, so I thought I would create this tutorial. Now I don't remember right now where I saw this kind of binding. I will search and if I find the source, I will leave links below. I'm terribly sorry. I always want to give credit to whoever I'm inspired by, but um, I, I just don't remember. I think it might be a combination of a few things I've seen. So the first step is to take out all these pages. And the one thing with this particular form of binding, you do need a thick spine. Now, I don't measure things. I don't do things accurately. That's just me. You'll see that this is not perfect. It's not super clean. You can clean it up. You can measure stuff. You do you. <laughs> I just, I can't be bothered. It, it hurts my soul <laughs> to be <laughs> accurate, but that's the beauty of this system. You don't need to measure or you can get away without measuring. You can kind of, you know, eyeball things, guesstimate and all that stuff. So you do need a hard cover or of course you can use, you know, like book binding pieces, cartons, whatever, but I'm really trying to buy less new things. So I have this old book that my husband gave me and the binding, after I tore out the pages, you can see it kind of is falling apart. You could reinforce it, um, take it apart and bring a new piece for the middle. I don't think it's necessary. I'm using duct tape, which is really, really strong. I love this gold one. I just ordered mine off Amazon and, you know, I had it within two days. So it was really easy to find. Um, duct tape makes, makes tapes with all kinds of great patterns. You could probably use also a book binding tape. I want to say, I just know that the next step, which is going to be to punch holes in the spine, works really well with the duct tape. And I don't know how it would work with um, like a book binding tape or cloth or that sort of thing. If you have experience with that, then uh, by all means, leave us a comment below and share your wisdom with us. As I've said, I've only made a handful of such books. So I can't say that I have a lot of experience. I can only tell you that this particular system works amazingly for me personally. So what you want to do is I'm going to use two pieces. You saw two pieces of duct tape and I'm going all around the book because the spine itself is kind of falling apart. With my December daily, I only added the duct tape on the inside because the cover itself was in really good shape and didn't need that extra uh, reinforcement of another layer. So it really depends on the condition of your cover. So you want to kind of burnish it as much as you can. And this is really nice and stable. And now we're moving on to the next step and I'm going to take my crocodile and I'm going to use the large hole because it works with the eyelets that I have. And I'm going to punch three holes on each end. Now, the one thing you want to keep in mind is that you want to have them um, far enough from the edge so that everything is stable and you have that extra space between your hole and the edge of the book. You don't want everything to be too close, but you also want it to be as far as possible or as close to the edge as possible because that means you can insert larger pages into your journal. So find that uh, perfect spot and um, I have not, probably I'm guesstimating that mine is like a quarter of an inch inside my cover. So you want a little bit of uh, space there. And yeah, I'm just guesstimating. I'm making three holes, spreading them evenly 
trying to be as precise as possible. You can measure, you can mark, you can do all these things. I can't be bothered. That's me. That's how I roll. <laughs> so this is super easy. The crocodile just goes through the duct tape and the cover of the book like butter. There's no struggling. It's super, super is easy. Uh, I'm guessing it's a combination of the materials and that the crocodile is kind of a heavy duty uh, type of tool. Now, all we have to do is pick which eyelets we're going to use. I was debating black or this kind of, I don't know, like a dark metal type of color. And I decided since the book looks a little, you can see it's not straight. It's not perfect. I'm okay with that. Uh, I think because of the look of this book, I mean, it is uh, an older book from, I don't know, 90s. 80s no idea so i decided to go with a more metal uh, eyelet and now i'm just going to squish it which is the technical term <laughs> with my crocodile again if you have you know all your positioning right this is super easy and i'm going to do the same to the rest of the five holes and that's basically it. And all we have to do now is insert, once this is done, we have to insert the elastic band that we're going to use. I'm using a golden elastic that I found in my local craft store. You can use whatever you want. Uh, I do prefer to have something that is elastic, to have that, um, you know, give that you can make it kind of tight and it holds pages securely, especially since, you know, we're not stitching anything to the binding. So you want those elastics to be uh, kind of tight, but not crazy tight that you have to struggle every time you insert a piece of paper. With my December daily, for now, I'm not binding anything. Uh, I might bind everything when I'm done. I have three signatures. I'll show you my December daily again at the end, but you can take a very good look at it in my uh, flip through video. I will link you to that. And um, yeah, maybe I'll stitch them to make just things a little bit more stable, but uh, it's definitely not a must. This works beautifully with without binding. You just fold your pages in two and then you have the flexibility of, you know, moving them around, taking them out, adding some stitching, putting them through your typewriter, printing stuff, all those things. You have a lot of options if you keep things not, um, you know, stitched. So this is my elastic. I have a gold one. I also have a silver one, but obviously the gold works well with my gold binding and the way I like to bind it is that on the outside I just have a little bit of that um, band showing so it's kind of you know there's no like system or tutorial to this <laughs> you just want to make sure that when you're on the outside of the cover um, it just shows that little bit so we're not going across with the elastic band. Of course you could if you prefer that look. Um, I like it looking a little bit cleaner on the outside. So I'm only, you can see, I'm just um, using, like there's only a little bit of the elastic on the horizontal surface of, on the outside. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> And this works so well. That's why you need uh, three holes on each side because that allows us to get this type of binding where we can, we don't have to pull the whole elastic cord across uh, the whole spine on the outside. And that's it. I'm making sure that it's kind of holding tight and then I'm just going to make a knot. There I go, checking. And that gives you four elastics on the inside which means that you can easily add four inserts or uh, if you're not doing, you know, like full signatures, you can just add a ton of pages. And of course you can add pattern papers to the cover on the inside or on the outside. You can decorate it, you can customize it, you can do whatever you want. 
it's so, so simple, so easy. The only thing I recommend is getting, you know, a good tape that you can use. There's my December daily. You can hang charms on the outside. Now you see what I mean, that the elastic band is only showing at the top of the spine. So you want a good duct tape and you want a good um, crocodile type of tool. If your punch is not kind of heavy duty, you might have to struggle and that's no fun. So I hope this was helpful to you. Please share this with anyone you feel might also enjoy this video. I'll see you in another one soon. Bye bye.